this. It's okay. Mummy's home now. Is your mummy's home now, isn't she? She yes. She's got her pyjamas on, look, hasn't she? Hey, you got your pyjamas on. Yeah, you don't want that? Well, give me a kiss. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> she did a big explosion, so she, when I got in, so she's got straight into her pyjamas. And we got you changed, didn't you? Hey, little one. Look how cute she is. She's so cute. <laughs> Oh, I love him. I love him. You're going to sit in a big pram a minute then, my mummy. Shows Auntie's what she's bought today. Yes, Annie, I'll be with you in a minute. So Annie sat here. I bought this, um, like, pad just before Christmas so that the kids could sit up at the table over Christmas. And um, it's working really well. It's really good for Frankie as well. I got it off of um, Amazon. So Annie's up here. Look at this lovely little sheepies. Got for mummy, got for birthday from Auntie Pauline. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, the Lamb of God came straight into my mind. And I think that must be because I'm all about journaling in my Bible this year. So yeah, here it is. It's really good. <clears throat> and it's wiped clean. And it straps on. Uh, hello, Miss Millie. She's looking for a ball. Where is it? You can find it. Well, it is dark outside now. I know it's light in here, but I've put the light on, so... I won't leave the light on for the babies. We need a new night light, don't we, in here? Mummy will have to find a new night light. So we have got um, Alistair. He sleeps in this crib. Hey, little man. Hey. And when he has his next feed in the night, I will take the cardigan off. But just to go to sleep, he likes to be nice and warm. And... Um, so we'll get him to sleep. He has got on... Oh, I was going to show you his pyjamas. He has got on Winnie the Pooh pyjamas. You can use them as day wear as well. They don't have to be pyjamas, do they? For babies, you know, it doesn't really matter what they wear. But these are lovely. It's a two-piece. It's got the um, older style, the original style, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger on it and at the feet it's got some little ears there's the other little ear mate there <laughs> can't get the other ear up there it is so he is looking cute so he does have his cardigan on like I say but and I've taken off of his um sensory toys so we don't want sensory overload do we we want sleepy buys yeah sleepy buys time isn't it I'll get you snuggled up now Really, he shouldn't be even lying on anything like this. It should be just really flat. So just remember, these are reborns. And when, um, in my day, you babies did have pillows. They had nice, cosy beds. And um, so I kind of do the same sort of thing now. But I am aware that you just put a baby in just a blank area when they can start wriggling around particularly because they don't want to suffocate do they hmm? no suffocating babies no but so just remember these are just dolls and i do know they're dolls even though i treat them like they're real i'm not i'm not all i'm not that daft that i know they're not dolls <laughs> okay so that's that one just to let you know that i am aware and when you get we're going to do timothy next because timothy's got in bed already and I really don't like the pyjamas he's got on. I don't know if you can remember me buying this. Um, but it's a fox baby grow. Or a sleeper. Whatever you want to call it. It's lovely and soft velour though. Mum's got to get you a blanket now, has it, she mate? Hey, Mum's got to get you a blanket. Yeah, he's got his teddies here. So this is his doggy that he had in his um, stocking for Christmas. And this is his teddy that Auntie Sheena gave him. And he loves this one. This is his bed mate. But yeah, I just, they don't do Timothy any favours, do they? But they're only bedwear. Can I turn you over, Timothy? Is that all right? Just to show the back. Because I know Auntie Sam will be watching and she loves foxes. So it's like um, an orangey colour and the tail goes all the way around the back. Here you go. I bought it when I was thrifting. I wonder if it'll suit my new lad whenever he comes. It might suit him better. I don't know. 
So I'm going to get you a cover. Yeah, let me get you a cover. So we got him a cover. And, um, you know, he does have a lot of stuff in his bed as well. And there's no way you would have all of this with your little one going into bed. But I do because this is my little one's safe space. So they have their things in that they want in there. Oh, I'm just covering him over. Your toes are sticking out. Mum needs to get this up a bit more. There you go. I've gave him the orange one because he's the orangey coloured one because he's wearing orange. But um, there we go. And then uh, go go and find another little girl for her bedtime. Yes, I do. All right, mate. You're not a puppet. Yes, sweet girl. It's time for your bed. Let's take your cardigan off. So Emma Jane is wearing some. Are they oops the daisy? Oops the daisy pajamas. Yeah, oops the daisy loves to sing. Sorry, I have my brace in. I'll just take my braces out. And um, I actually bought these in Home Bargains, I think it was, for £5. I thought it was really good. So they've got, um, I can't even remember. What is it? What's the program that works with those, that on? Say, so, oh dear, someone came to drop off a newsletter. Let's take your slippers off then. Yeah, I tell you what, you don't help, you just stand there. So the top is white with oops a daisy on with um pink sleeves and then the trousers are pink. And there you're gonna show up your leg, are you? Okay, let's lift your leg up then. With spots on. All different colour spots. So these are your pyjama of the night. Oh, you're coming in to kiss the camera, are you? Are you coming in to kiss the camera? Are you? Are you coming in to kiss the camera? Oh, no! <laughs> you made the camera come off. Are you laughing now? <laughs> you made the camera come off the stand, you silly old sausage. So this is Emma Jane's bed. And she sleeps on the bottom bunk. Her and Frankie. And I'm just going to get her into bed now. She's also got Ups Daisy slippers. I also bought these in uh, Home Bargains. I'm sure it is Home Bargains. I think they were three ninety nine. And she had a cardigan on that you saw earlier anyway. Hey, we had cardigans on, didn't we? After we got pyjamas and that on. So you're going to get into bed then? Yeah. Come on. I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. She's got the same duvet cover on as Frankie because that's what she wanted. But like all my children, I'm surprised they can even fit in the bed with um, the amount of stuff they keep on their bed. She has all her babies at the bottom. You want a baby? Do you want your new baby? Hey, do you want your new baby? There's your new baby. Oh, and you want lady. All right, there's your lady. You had that in your stocking, didn't you? Hey, okay. There you go. Look at her, she's got all the babies. You want your other blanket? I don't think you need these blankies on you. Okay, but if you think you do, you do. Sorry it's so dark, aunties, but see, we don't have a light under here because it's night time, isn't it? There's your other blanket if you want that one. There you go. All right, there you go. Are you all settled in that? Are you sure you're going to have enough room? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Good night, little girl. Mama loves you. <laughs> Do you want to see her aunties? There she is. <laughs> She's all tucked up in bed. Say night, right, night. It's Annie's turn to go to bed now. Go to bed. Yeah, sweet girl. Oh, that always looks dark down his little end, doesn't it? So it's not dark. No, no. After some light. Hey, should we have some light now? Yeah. Go, go, sleepies. Tired. Yeah, and he's got her Toy Story pyjamas on. Woohoo! Mm. Oh, can you see Annie's nightlight? It's ducky. <laughs> so for Toy Story 4, he press the belly and he lights up, doesn't he, Annie? Yeah! So, there we go. Let me tuck you up with your Toy Story blankie from Auntie Nancy. It's not cold in here. We've got the heating on. 
But there you go, aunties. Oh, no, now aunties can see you. Say night, everybody. Little Mr. Mason's going to sleep now. He's got on... Paddington Bear pyjamas. Nice thick socks. He is a hot baby. He's just going to have this one blanket over him, but I will obviously check on him as he has his bot pots. Oh, he's so cute. Bless him. And sleeping in the big pram is Felicity. She loves the big pram. So she's going to sleep in here. Um, I need to jiggle their beds and that around, I think, a bit. But um, we'll do that in another video. But she's all snuggly. Are you snug as a bug in a rug? Hey, are you snuggly? Mum bounced the push chair for a bit for you. That really does help her to get off to sleep. Sometimes she has to have the hood up to help her. <laughs> she doesn't look like she's going much to sleep there, does she, aunties? <laughs> and there we go. She's off. So, there we go. Bless her little cotton. She's so cute. And last but not least to get into bed is this big girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She'll turn to get to bed now, Frankie, isn't it? Me and Frankie are going to read a story from out of here. Are you going to get into the bed then? She's got on these lovely um, low doll pyjamas with these like fluffy socks. And she's got her doggies on her bed. See, all of my bunch have got their beds completely packed. I mean, I'm surprised they can find anywhere to sleep. But they're like, should we take her, ha her headband off? Beatrice's headband off. Because, oh, hang on. Mm, we just had to. You're not getting in the covers. Are you not getting you in exactly the same place where I left you? Are you not getting in the covers? Hey? You're not getting in the covers? No. Okay, sweet girl. We'll read the story then, shall we? Yeah. So what one should we read tonight? Brave Tin Soldier. Okay. The little boy opened his birthday present and nearly burst with excitement. Inside was a whole army of tin soldiers with matching red and blue uniforms and muskets over their shoulders. <laughs> 